The shirt says run IWC. And as long as McChesney has the IWC title, a lot of stake and credibility goes into that claim. With that comes power, comes stroke, and opportunity. Well, all that aside, Bill, this ought to be one heck of a match. It will be. We've seen these men do battle before. The IWC title, although under vastly different circumstances, in the past, McChesney is an amazing natural athlete, has a vertical leap second to none in this organization. But Shima Zion is in the best physical shape of his life. He's stronger, he's quicker, he's more confident. But will the numbers game play a factor? Will McChesney win or lose this IWC title in the ring? I have my doubts. Well, Shima Zion, looking for about a thousand plus friends in the case of this capacity crowd at Rock Grove High School in Franklin, Pennsylvania. His former tag partners want nothing to do with him. His former training partners want nothing to do with him. But you really can't blame him. Shima Zion's been very selfish in recent years. He's had that uh, model-esque type attitude, and now when he needs people, it's come back to haunt him. Look out. Well, throwing signs at hats isn't going to win the match. You can tell McChesney's off his game. He does not want to wrestle Shima Zion. He doesn't think he wants to wrestle anybody. Oh, he's happy sitting back uh, in the dressing room area. Throwing his weight around, using Bubba to get ahead. Absolute power, Mr. Valentino, corrupts absolutely. That's what it's all about, Joe, power. Well, not necessarily. Right now it's about the IWC title. The Chesney wants it for power, selfish reasons. Shima wants it to be the man in this company once again. Shima survived a two-day-long 16-man tournament to win the IWC title initially in 2008. He can do it again. He beat four or five guys. He can for darn sure beat one. But that one is a very, very tough man. Not to mention 260 of Dean Radford on the outside with weapons. And a bum leg. But don't discount Dean Radford, Joe. We've already seen he can get involved once. Well, multiple times. Exactly. He'll do it again. I have no doubt. He's crazy. I don't trust him. I don't trust anybody. Well, you shouldn't trust any of the founding fathers. Because unless you're one of them, they don't care about you. You get that through your head yet? They don't care. They want you to go away. They want your spot here. You don't want to give me a trial? Not at all. Maybe if you can benefit them somehow, fetch their coffee. Hammerlock by Shima Zion. And there's no respect. And you can tell the Founding Fathers take it personally that uh, Shima's hesitated on the offer to join the group. And Shima's upset. And Shima having words with Dean Radford. Thought that distraction might have paid dividends for the fathers, but not in this instance. See you, McChesney, on the outside. Shima Zion is the one baiting in big league. Shima with a drop kick. And McChesney sprawled out in our entranceway, motionless. Yeah. But there's a count out, title does not change hands. She's going to make sure McChesney gets back in the ring whether he wants to or not. 
Well, you would be best suited to take this fight back in the ring, Joe. Well, yeah. Can't win the title on a count out. Well, where the hell were you 45 seconds ago? Right here. Big chest mate. Not breathing too easy right now. And Kachima coming in with an elbow. Right to the jawline. Chesney went for a head of steam, but she was a couple hairs quicker. On a look out. Got the kick. Shima wants to avoid the outside. That's where Radford is. Shima knows it. Very nicely scouted. Oh, God. Only delayed the inevitable. Shima hit hard. Bobby Williams better keep his eyes on Radford. And Big League not going to give the Filipino Flex Factory any chance for reprieve. No surcease. And Shima, the back of his head just bounced off of this hard guardrail. Solid steel. Solid steel. And the floor is solid concrete. The floor is actually more wooden based. It's a basketball floor, but I get the point. And McChesney has used the elements of the outside and no doubt the intimidation of Radford as well to slip back into firm control. Northern Knights, very nice bridge. Only a two count, Joe. It'll take more than that to put Shima's eye on away, I can tell you that much. Well, it will, but Shima's favoring a lot of parts of his body right now. His ribs on the impact off the top rope, the back of his head with that guardrail. Hitting so many uh, makeshift weapons throughout the early going of this matchup. Shima. Pressing the advantage now. The, the, uh, the crowd here can certainly be a, a sixth man, so to speak, and a second burst of adrenaline. If you utilizing that now, you wouldn't know too much about that, Mr. Valentino. About what? Exactly. Shima Zion met with a knee in the corner. I think Chesney needs another... Oh, another illegal advantage here, and this rig pose. It's and not it, round, Joe, it's square. That's right, much like you, but, but you make a valid point, as we touched on earlier, some more painfully than others, the edges on that ring post dig into your skin, whether it's your head, your back, or any other anatomical region. It hurts, and it hurts a lot. And Shima's facial expression says it all. And Bobby Williams is within his right to disqualify Big League McChesney now. But the official knows that's what McChesney probably wants. Can't win the title on disqualification. So I've heard. Shima sent McChesney into the post. Look out! Oh, God. Shima dropped the first in that guardrail. Stun gun on the, uh, the guardrail there, Joe. Shades of stunning Steve Austin. Yeah. Take the hot stuff Eddie Gilbert as well. The inventor of the move, the hot shot. A couple other great legends. Mickey Valentino is one of those legends that uses that move. No, not quite yet. That's Chesney. As Shima's on in all kinds of trouble, Shima's probably not sure where he is right now. And if he falls off of that top turnbuckle once again, to the outside. This match may be over. He almost takes that spill. <laughs> oh, McChesney. High risk. No superplex. A super duperplex. But Shima holds on. Shima Zion has hope. 
Has life. Top turnbuckle. Got it. Oh. Nobody home for the big frog splash. And you can see the impact, the height, the velocity Shima Zion got. He hurt himself upon impact. Rushed all the wind out of his own body. Imagine what it would have done to McChesney's. Memory exchange. IWC title at stake. Balance of power when it comes to the Founding Fathers in jeopardy in this matchup. Sleeper! But Shima backs McChesney into the corner. Shades of Johnny Weaver by John McChesney, but Shima Zion got the jawbreaker. And McChesney, you can never forget his striking game. And Shima does McChesney. And Shima with a handful of tights to keep McChesney in grass. And McChesney is paying some dues. Valentino, any comment? Huge clothesline by Shima Zion, an interesting use of the tights, Joe. Well, yeah, yeah the clothesline was about the only thing, but be that as it may, Moonsault, cover, got it, no. Out the count of the way from a new IWC almost champion. Almost new champion, Joe. I just said that. It yeah. almost doesn't count. Only in horseshoes and hand grenades. All right. And atomic bombs. Thank you, Mr. 80. Shima, head of steam. And check out what I would consider the third burst of adrenaline from Shima Zion. That electric chair driver coming up. Could have it. Countered. But Shima walked right in to the TKO. Done. No. Big Chesney's pinned many a man with that maneuver, but not the Filipino Flex Factory. John McChesney needs to hit another big move right now to go and go for the cover, because this one's over. But how much do either of these men have left? Probably not a lot. McChesney can't be distracted by these fans. You know Bubba will see a copy of this footage. That electric chair driver one more time. Will the second time be the charm? No! Roll up! Got it! No! No! Oh, heartbeat away. And Shima. Huge DDT. Got it. No. Both men pulling out all stuff into the cross face now. Shima has been looking to perfect this maneuver over the past couple of years. It tears the shoulder tendons. It rips away at the neck. Will Nick Chesney tap away the power of the IWC title? Chesney tried to turn the weight, but Shima kept the grass. The Chesney reaches, he's got him. Got to break the hold, Joe. That's right, Shima's got to go five. Shima, milking that for all it's worth. Shima almost got disqualified. That would have been a mistake. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Radford just tossed in Shima's hairspray. Shima pushes Radford away. The distraction, Radford's distraction was all McChesney needed. The hairspray was a red herring. The electric chair, and Gene Radford instrumental in the father's retaining a title. We all thought we were going to see a repeat performance of Combat and Clearfield. And the hair spray would be the deciding factor. But that was just a diversion. Dean Radford caused the distraction. Nick Chesney connected flush with the kick and into the election chair. And she 
Kojima. It took two guys to beat him, but the founding fathers stay on top, Valentino.